Let's take you right now, though, to Canberra, where Clive Palmer paid is parental leave. So there'll be no paid parental leave. When we look at paid parental leave, we have to think about what it really does for women. It only provides support and assistance for them in the first six months of birth of, of, of a child. But really, if we want to set women free and have them be able to compete in society, we really have to look at childcare. It's a retrograde step to have the Treasurer and the Productivity Commission saying we should cut back on childcare and we should limit its access. Because all it does is allow women to participate more in the workforce and all Australians will benefit from their activity and what they can do for the country. So we strongly support the government introducing the money that it had available for paid parental leave to increase childcare, and that's what should happen. Because after all, children um, need to be looked after, not from just the first six months of their birth, but their entire span of their life, and women need to be able to compete and to and contribute to society in the workforce. So that's why we're calling on the Prime Minister to make the $20 billion that's been available in the budget for paid parental leave available for increased childcare for women in this country. Won't that be a broken promise of the government if they don't deliver on this? Well, we, they've broken every other promise. We can break that for the women of Australia. I'm sure we can do that. It was part funded by a levy. Would you suggest that they continue with the levy? And well, look, I mean, uh, first of all, they start out with a lie and then they build every policy from that lie. And that first of lie is that Australia is in a great amount of debt, which it's not. It's just not true. They're liars, you know. The simple facts of the matter are it's 12% of our GDP is what, what our debt is at the moment. When Bob Menzies was Prime Minister, it was 40%, so that we're a long way ahead of Bob Menzies, their hero. And, of course, in the OECD sense, with the third lowest debt in the OECD, with 12% debt, with the OECD average being 73% debt. So they say, shock and all, we're all in terrible trouble, so we'll do all these things and we won't be accountable for anything positive we could do for people. You see, if they don't pretend there's a big debt, they've actually got to do something and be accountable to people in this country. That's their excuse to do levy, nothing. Would you vote for that levy, the PPL levy, and then putting the funds into childcare? Would you support the levy? No, I just support the government caring about women of this country and not having a misogynist as Prime Minister. You That's what Julie, the levy. Uh, you would not Julie the levy. Um, Gillard said, didn't she? You would not support the levy? No, it's, it's not a question of the levy. It's, it's a question that we need to bring taxes down in Australia because they are too high and the government's seeking more and more control over our society. They're talking about putting up the GST. First of all, they starve the states of money and then they say we've got to have a GST. And, you know, the great majority of GST that's paid in this country never gets to government coffers. It's paid by people like me and businesses. It's all refunded from the Commonwealth. The people who have the burden of GST are the payee um, taxpayers. Whereas if it was normal income tax, you'd have a threshold. But under the GST, you have no threshold. One of the things you said about the PPL was that uh, it shouldn't go to millionaires. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that millionaires should get access to subsidised childcare? Not really. I think you can, you can have a, 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 a means test on millionaires. I think that would be OK. I, I'd... That was Clive Palmer speaking from Canberra, saying that the $20 billion put aside for the paid parental leave scheme from the government should be shifted into childcare.